What's up, Robert here, coming at you with a Premiere Pro tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started. So we have this vertical footage here that I'm just gonna click and drop to create a new sequence. So now we're stuck with this vertical video and I wanna make it widescreen. How can I do that? The first step I'm gonna do is go to sequence sequence settings and we need to make this widescreen. So I'll pull up a little window there to help you out, but we have one side of 720 and the widescreen version is gonna be 1280. Now if this side was like 1080, then this would be 1920. So now that we have this set, everything else is okay, click okay. It's gonna give us a warning, just click okay for that. And now we have the black bars on the sides. A lot of you are trying to get rid of the black bars, but we're, we're bringing them back here for, uh, you know, if you wanna upload your Snapchat stories to YouTube. So now that we have this done, I need to duplicate this video clip and I'm just gonna hold down Alt or Option on the keyboard, click this clip and drag up one track, let go, and that video clip has been duplicated. And now what I want to do is I want to click on this bottom most track here and we want to enlarge this. So the way I can do that is go to the effect controls over here and just bring up the scale all the way until the black bars are gone. Right about there. Okay, so since this is a tree, this looks really weird and it looks like it's all one picture. Let's go ahead and blur it. We'll go to the effects panel here and search for Gaussian blur. And here we have Gaussian blur. I'm just going to click and drag it to the effects or you can click and drag it to the bottom most clip. Let's bring up the blurriness a bit, probably around there, around 37. And if you have black edges on your video clip, you can remove them by clicking repeat edge pixels. Now let me just cut in here real quick. If you still have black edges on the sides and you have repeat edge pixels checked, you may need to adjust the scale. Just zoom in some more. Since we added the blurriness from the Gaussian blur, it made the edges fade in. So just zoom in some more to get rid of that. Okay, so now that we have that done, that's pretty much all there is to it. One extra credit point you can do is if you click on this topmost track and you go to the effects and we search for drop shadow, we can add a drop shadow to this top clip, adjust the softness, maybe the direction and opacity. Just like that. And for double extra credit points, you can bring the opacity down for this bottom clip. Just untoggle the stopwatch here and bring that bitch down. Maybe like 50% or so. That way the vertical video stands out a little more than the background. Another thing for this is if your track has video on it and this is above those clips, then the background's not going to be black when you bring down the opacity. So to take care of that, just go to file, new, color mat and click OK and then choose black and we can name this black background and bring this into the track below the two clips to keep the background black. Now we have our vertical video clip that can be added to our widescreen footage. Hope you learned some things. I'm Robert from robertsproductions.net and I'll see you in the next one.